Welcome to Practicing Photography. My name is Doug Gabbard, trying to get better one photo at a time. I've got quite an elaborate setup here. Uh, you can see a little bit of the edge here. I've got two whiteboards that I'll slide underneath here. I'm going to be doing a bubble shot. And I'll share with you my concoction of how I make it. Once I get that in there, where it'll stay. There. I've got a couple things going on. I've got my camera here with extension tubes. Uh, the settings I'll be using is probably about one second exposure uh, with a very, very small aperture F22 so I can get a good depth of field and get my ISO set to 100 to minimize noise. Uh, I've got a aperture uh, light here that I can adjust colors with it so I can get some blues and purples and greens. Uh, I'm going to use my iPhone to show you a little bit. And I'll use that here in a minute to show you my setup. I have a GoPro sitting on the right over here that you can't see. And I will get some side shots of what's going on and do some uh, B-roll type edits. Uh, I've got two soap mixtures made up. One of them is in this little silver cup. I did this last night. And also in the black cup. One is just a little bit thicker than the other. I'll have to stir them up. But the mixture has in it soap from dish soap. Uh, I think I just used Dawn, whatever we have. Uh, magnesium citrate you can find in the pharmacy and water that's my soap mixture I'll put some details down below in the comments before not in the comments in the uh, description of what I used and, and how much I think that's about it I do have a flash and I have another flash up here and I didn't and when I did this last night I didn't use the flash as much my better shots were without the flash so we'll see how that goes so I'll show you my setup We'll start over here on the right, there's my GoPro. There is my light that I'll use. I have my cardboard here. This is just basically a homemade soft box. It's one by twos, it's about, I think it's about two foot by two foot square. And it's just an old shower curtain I got at uh, Dollar General or some inexpensive store. There's my extra off camera flash uh, with a uh, silver lined umbrella. This flash on top of my camera, its sole purpose in life is to trigger the other flash. And finally, here's my soap bubbles and a straw to blow bubbles. So I'm going to get my camera turned on. And the first thing I want to do is get my focus set up. And I'll do that by turning on the rear focus for my camera so that I can see and to get the focus to actually work I do need to adjust the exposure and it looks like I'm not getting in focus just yet. Let's back it up a little. Actually, I think I had to get closer if I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go. Now we're getting in focus. Get it real close to get it in focus. There it goes. And I'm getting the, the the small cup at the very bottom, right below the one third line. If you do the rule of thirds and you get the grid, it's just below my one third line. So my bubbles will start right at the one third line. All right. And I do have a pencil to mark the spot on the cardboard where the focus point is. So I can pick this cup up blow some bubbles and put it back on its mark verify it's in focus and we are going to dial it down to that's a five second exposure I think it's too long so now we are sitting at I have eight seconds. The 
thirteenth of a second. We do have a timer on it, so let's just see what it does. So let's go to a longer exposure. There we are at one, we're at one second now, finally. Got it at one second. Turn my light on, starting off with a blue light. The coolest pictures was with the light just sitting right behind it. And the photo is actually shooting at an angle that when I crop it, you won't be able to see the blue light in the background. Turn on the overhead flash, see if we get a difference. Two second delay. Not too bad. I got this flash turned all the way down. And I pop my bubbles with my light. Let's get some more bubbles. So, as you can see, the solution just blows bubbles. blow slower you get larger bubbles you blow faster you get bigger bubbles and we're gonna blow on a little bit see if we get some more color Trying to catch some bubbles in midair. Almost got that one. So it was total by accident. This is a pretty cool experiment. Nope, nothing. What I'm trying to do, not successfully, is to get the uh, bubble and blow into a straw out in the middle somewhere. That one was close. That was real close. Maybe, 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 maybe. All right, so we'll see how this works out on the video. Like I said, I have got, I think I explained everything in the setup. 
so if you like this project and you want to see more, let me know. Hit the subscribe and like button. Come back for more videos and let me know what you think. If you try the bubble photos, share with me what you did and how you were successful and if you liked what you did. Uh, thanks again for coming to watch my video and I'll see you next week. Have a great day.